So what we're trying to get out of this event is that all the startups all have to go through the same problems. They all have the same issues they have to deal with. Um, they all have to find investors. They all have to find office space. They all have the same uncertainties that they need to work through. And we're just here to offer that to them. We're all, all here to offer solutions through Blueprint and Startbank and through Commerce Factory. Commerce Factory, I think, had a really good speakers around like the startup environment, about the investment funding options. Uh, so tonight, as a co-founder of a startup on the payment fintech uh, sector, it was very insightful to get kind of the latest insight in the industry. El evento que hemos tenido muchísima gente, ha habido muchísimas preguntas, sobre todo porque los proyectos que se han expuesto han sido proyectos muy interesantes, desde smart cities, eh, que es de business to business hasta proyectos como pulseras inteligentes que hizo Paypal en, en un evento e incluso manos robóticas que pueden controlar el jamón que también se ha estado cortando en este evento. Hemos asistido esta noche al Commerce Factory que es un magnífico evento y una magnífica oportunidad para compartir la innovación. We've grown it globally, so it's something we run in a lot of cities around the world and we've added to a whole bunch of new cities including Melbourne this year. It's great to see it sort of spread out and sort of cover more of the planet. I enjoy Commerce Factory because uh, we get to discuss some really cool and innovative things. So today was all about Bitcoin. We talked a lot about what it actually was, so what the underlying computer science challenges um, that were solved that made Bitcoin possible. Perfect example is coming to events like this and, and meeting people that are in the same digital realm as you and you know building those connections and building relationships essentially because that's all businesses. So online payment, um, e-commerce, and in particular things like cryptocurrencies really interest me. Yeah, I saw the panel of speakers and thought it'd be really interesting to come along to, so I uh, wasn't disappointed. Yeah, all the examples that we saw today on this event, they can find actually a purpose in like a real business uh, world. We just finished our first uh, commerce factory in Singapore. There was also a large variety of uh, age groups that attended, ranging from students to professionals. Um, a lot of students got a lot of knowledge on Arduinos um, that they want to sort of implement into their school projects and make use of it, which was really, really good. This event here allows uh, people to learn about new technologies. I also am fairly experienced with Arduino, but I definitely learned a thing or two from the other speakers about the various uh, real-world applications and other interesting Arduino bots as well. Firstly, I think Commerce Factory is an amazing place where you can meet really cool companies and really cool people. And PayPal said, come along. So I thought, why not meet new people, have a good evening and have a few beers. Braintree's announced um, a partnership with Coinbase and a couple of other really cool um, Bitcoin businesses. There's been a lot of questions that have come about wanting to know what is Bitcoin, what does it do, what doesn't it do, what's it based on. And so tonight's really about answering some of those questions. So I'm excited about Commerce Factory going global because it will bring knowledge and kind of ideas and new technology to a whole wide variety of people. We have people here from a startup background, we have people here that are just mainly developers, we've got accountants, we've got very many different kinds of people here that all want to learn about how technology and how um, the industry is really going to push commerce further.